Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is finally good that I figured out what to film because I couldn't figure it out all week and I wanted to film something around holiday makeup and it just wasn't coming to me. I wasn't in the mood. So I'm here and I'm going to share my collection of bourbon and bow tie bracelets because I worked at a trunk show this past weekend and I collected some more and did gift shopping and yeah. Um, if you're not sure about this um, jewelry brand or if you haven't heard of it, it's called Bourbon and Bow Ties. I've been into it for a little over a year and we are, I have a lot of bangles now. A lot of bangles. I'm literally looking at them across here so that's why I was looking down. I can't really count how many I have but just like you've seen on my Wes and in my bag videos, we all know I am a quantity freak when it comes to when I like something and yeah. <laughs> So I worked a trunk show. These are made. These are some just handcrafted jewelry pieces from Tampa, Florida. I happen to live in Tampa. Whoop, whoop. And they are handmade um, genuine stones that they're using. So semi-precious. So it's like agate and other quartz type of um, stones. So they're pretty, you know, pretty cool. Pretty decent quality. And they have a little interesting story because the girl who... And started making them, started gifting them, and then people wanted more. And then she then invested some money into buying more stones and making bracelets to sell. And didn't think they would really sell, but they did it, and they're pretty darn hot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get into what I got this weekend, and then I'm going to show you my collection in entire. And I'm going to throw in one more bangle that I got in recently, but it wasn't at a Trump show. So let me kick it off with that one. I went to one of their events held at Bonefish Grill. And this was the one they gave away. It was a just a small white stone. This size is super dainty and really easy for people who don't like bulky jewelry because these can get a little bit bulky. Um, and the size I wear in these are the standard size. So there's like a smaller size and a bigger size. So for majority of the ones I'm showing, they are standard sizes. Sometimes I do get a larger size because just, I, heck, I want it and it still fits me. And it doesn't matter to me. I don't care if it's sliding. So whatever. So that's this one. Then at the trunk show that um, I worked at, I purchased five items for myself and did gifts for everyone else. And I'm all into blushes and nudes and grays and olives and blacks and all that jazz. So I picked up this one because it's like the perfect little blush color and it has some gray marbling in it and I thought it was just oh so pretty and I couldn't leave it because I was obsessed with it and then to go with it I just bought this easy to wear small gold one so this is like one of my daintier ones that I can stack and pair it with literally anything and then just because I love like gunmetal colors blacks and grays I picked up this black and gray circular stone so it's super smooth and some of the stones are a little more rugged looking and some of them are like this really nice and smooth and then I picked up this gunmetal little um, I call these like fillers to be honest because they are kind of like your fillers in between bigger stones and whatnot so this little guy too in a gray um, I also picked up one of their necklaces. I've been dying for their longer necklaces like crazy, and I got the black stone. It's slightly faceted. It has a tassel, so you could dress it up or dress it down. And again, really easy. This is about 24 inches, I believe. Yeah, about 24. So it's a pretty lovely little length to wear. If you're a little bit bustier, it will probably fall a little bit right on the bust line. Mine falls kind of right below little shorter than Kendra Scott, like literally by an inch, if you can reference those longer necklaces. Alright, so I do have already another necklace. This is one of like the statement pieces with the stones, and these are like mirrored little blue stone. It reminds me of like a glam, the glam flint stones kind of look. And I kind of dig that because I love the Flintstones movie growing up with Halle Berry and I loved it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, my friend literally introduced me to this line. like, And so everything I buy kind of like strikes a chord with some type of memory or kind of picks up on a style that I'm trying to like emphasize on um, that I'm currently like embracing. Either way. 
All right, so continue on. My very first one was like the shotgun shell that they're like infamous for, and I bought like this purple stone to go with. Then it. I went through a druzy phase with these. The only issue is I wear them on work and knock them around, so they're not as great as they used to be. But either way, I still wear them. Um, there is this smaller kind of dark blue jersey that I adored. And then like this gray, and it has a little bit of pink that reflects in it, jersey. And then a large white jersey stone. Oh, and then my last jersey I have is the one that I'm wearing. So it's a, like, I call it the mermaid stone because it makes me think of like a mermaid in space. I know this makes no sense. It probably sounds like I'm on LSD, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I have like this little faceted stone and I like it because it has some hole in it that it catches the light but then it has like the flat part so it's just really like a statement piece like everyone's always like ooh ah when I wear it. Then I have a lot of little faceted ones so these are like these type of stones I call them like my glam ones that I wear whenever I need a little sparkle or pizzazz and this one is near and dear to me because Carly the creator of it gave it to me like literally off her wrist because I was like I really want one of those ones and I was working on a trunk show and they all sold out and she literally just took it off her wrist and just gave it to me and I was pretty stoked about it so thanks again Carly and yeah um, and then I have like the smaller one so I buy literally every type of size this like really rich ruby this one fits so tight because the stones are bigger for my wrist um, but I still managed to squeeze it on. Um, I also too have this one that reminds me of my birthstone. This red because I... And then always you need a black one. So my black faceted. So these I call the little glamorizers. Then I have a, two other metalwork ones. The arrowhead which I was part of some of the first ones I collected and then I had to get one of these infamous pineapple ones that like if you go to a trunk show like this is one of the first ones to go like the arrowhead the shotgun shell they have coins and they have like this um this casted um pineapple they they go they go like crazy they're like hotcakes then the last ones are kind of random ones. Um, I just picked up like this bluish purple stone because it just looked cool and I wanted it. The abalone shell. I literally worked at several trunk shows before I bought this one because I was so, I was like, I like it, but I don't know. I don't like it. And then I just kept putting it on and kept loving it. So I decided to add that one. And then, um, I love these two. These are two that I've been wearing a lot just together every day, which are like the pearl ones. This is like a flat pearlescent, and this is like the double pearl. They have some with smaller pearls that sit on the side, but I was like, go big. So I grabbed that one. And then the last really interesting one, I just bought it because it was really abstract, and I saw it on their Instagram, and I fell in love with it, which is this rose one. Really girly. So if you want to get introduced to the brand, please grab your phone now, go to Instagram, I'll give you like two seconds to do that, and type in bourbon, B-O-U-R-B-O-N-A-N-D-B-O-W-E-T-I-E-S, and you can find them. So yes, I know bourbon and bow ties are spelled incorrectly, and if you don't enter it in right, you're not going to get on the right page. But there they post like where they're hosting um, trunk shows, so you can see if one happens nearby you, and also some inspiration for stacks and that you can wear yourself with these. So I get a lot of inspiration looking at their page too. So I hope you enjoyed this little show and tell and I hope you're able to look into having attending a trunk show nearby you or purchasing one from online as well. And if you have any more questions below about, um, if you have any questions at all about the line, please feel free to drop a comment below and I can chat with you about it. And then other than that, don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video if you like it. Check out some of my other videos too. I will link those below and after this video. And stay positive. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And I will be getting a New Year's look 
up for you because I love nighttime makeup. I think that's what I enjoy doing the most and showing off because I, I don't get to really wear a lot of nighttime makeup during the day. So th on YouTube, I can just glam it up for you. But if there's any other requests you have to, again, let me know. You can uh, always leave me a comment. You can tweet me. You can find me on Instagram and leave a comment on a picture. I am open to all forms of communication, even a smoke signal if you live in the Tampa area. I'm kidding. But either way, again, I hope you all have a really awesome Christmas and enjoy it with those who you love the most. Bye.